Autosport Europe. CES 2023 was packed with automotive companies unveiling their latest innovations. But what technology stole the limelight? I'm Deputy Editor Tom Gegus, and here are AutoVista 24's top picks from this year's show. First up, the headliners. In recent years, CES has featured some show-stopping concept cars, and 2023 was no exception. BMW's iVision D, which stands for Digital Emotional Experience, attempts to redefine what a car could be. Chairman of the Board of Management, Oliver Zipser, called the vehicle an intelligent companion. The carmaker said its future digital functions will go far beyond the level of voice control and driver assistance systems we're familiar with today. This is thanks to advanced voice technology and expressive features. The model also takes the e-ink technology from the BMW iX Flow to its next logical step. D can display up to 32 different colors across its 240 e-ink segments. Inside, a mixed reality slider separates five levels of digital content, projected via the heads-up display, or HUD. The production version of this technology will be used in the Neue Klasse models from 2025 onwards. Next up, Stellantis rolled out some impressive models of its own. Based on the STLA large platform, Peugeot's inception concept is powered by a 100 kWh battery, providing nearly 800 km in range. However, performance is unlikely to be what the concept is remembered for. The design features over 7 meters of glazing, which stretches all the way down in front of the driver. This steering wheel has been replaced with a hypersquare control system. This tablet type screen features digital electric controls and steer by wire technology. Meanwhile, Ram introduced the 1500 Revolution battery electric vehicle. Equipped with a motor on each axle, it's capable of four wheel steering. Inside, a retractable mid-gate allows the storage of items nearly 5.5 metres in length. Shadow mode also means the vehicle can follow its driver around, carrying heavy loads. The carmaker promises to redefine the pickup truck segment in 2024, with a Ram 1500 BEV production model. This looks to be introduced in the coming months. Sony Honda Mobility introduced its new brand called Afila, alongside a prototype. A media bar on the exterior allows communication between the vehicle and the world around it. Inside, a panoramic screen stretches from pillar to pillar, while passengers in the rear can enjoy their own displays. The human-machine interface provides a personalised in-car experience through cloud service connectivity. Meanwhile, navigation will utilise augmented reality using sensor technology. A production model based on this concept looks to be just around the corner. Pre-orders are mapped out for the first half of 2025, sales by the end of that year, and deliveries in North America by spring 2026. CES 2023 also saw Volkswagen display the latest member of its family of battery electric vehicles. The ID7 features smart camouflage, which can create light effects on different parts of the vehicle. This is thanks to 40 layers of paint, some of which are conductive, while others have insulating properties. Once connected to a sound system, the rhythm can be visualised through illumination. Underneath this paintwork, the ID7 sits on VW's electric MEB platform, providing some 700 kilometres in range. VW plans to launch the electric sedan by 2026. This looks to take place in three primary markets, Europe, North America and China. But how can drivers keep new electric vehicles like these charged up? Well. EVM structure announcements were also made at CES 2023. Blink, a manufacturer, owner, operator and provider of charging equipment and services, launched five new products at the show. This included the Vision, which sports a 55-inch LCD screen and two 80-amp 19.2 kilowatt ports that can charge simultaneously. There was also the EQ200, an intelligent, affordable and scalable 22 kilowatt charging solution designed for European and South American markets. Mercedes-Benz also announced it is entering the EV charging infrastructure game. The brand is aiming to set up more than 10,000 high-powered chargers in Europe, North America and China, and other key markets. Customers of the luxury brand will be able to pre-book charging stations from their car. 
its vehicles will automatically optimize routes, map out the best charging points and reserve spaces. However, Mercedes-Benz will allow other brands to access their chargers, hoping to encourage the adoption of EVs. Depending upon the location, hubs will ultimately offer between 4 and 30 high-powered chargers with up to 350 kilowatts of power. So that's electric cars and charging. But what did suppliers bring to CS 2023? Well, Qualcomm Technologies displayed a new concept vehicle to showcase the Snapdragon digital chassis. The idea here is to deliver integrated technologies from across different companies, covering infotainment, driver assistance, and enhanced safety systems. This concept car looks to demonstrate what we can expect from software-defined vehicles of the future. Consumers can extend the digital lives into the vehicle, gaining more personalized experience. Meanwhile, ZF introduced its pro-connected platform, built to connect cars with the cloud and infrastructure. ZF also displayed its heat belt at CS 2023. Using interwoven wires, the belt warms the front of the body while reducing the amount of energy needed to heat the whole cabin. The belt only needs 70 watts of power to reach a maximum surface temperature of 40 degrees. And that brings us to one of the most iconic automotive technologies, which has become something of a cornerstone at CES. And of course, I'm talking about autonomous vehicles. Now, while many manufacturers highlighted more realistic expectations involving advanced driver assistance systems, high levels of autonomy were still present at the show. ZF unveiled its Level 4 Autonomous Shuttle for urban environments and mixed traffic locations. Working alongside mobility service provider Beep, the pair plan to deliver several thousand shuttles in the coming years. The new vehicle is equipped with LiDAR, radar, camera and audio systems as well as enough room for 22 passengers. Holon also unveiled its Level 4 Autonomous and Electric Mover at CES 2023. The vehicle can carry 15 passengers and achieve a maximum speed of 60 km per hour and a range of about 290 km. Targeted applications for the mover include ride pooling and ride hailing, as well as scheduled services. However, shuttles are not the only area of autonomous development. The Indy Autonomous Challenge, or IAC, proved what self-driving vehicles are capable of. The single elimination autonomous tournament saw nine teams from 17 universities race with the Delaria AV21. The winning car from Team Polymove hit speeds of nearly 290 km per hour, achieving a new autonomous speed world record for a racetrack. And that brings us to the end of this year's coverage. But what did you think of CES 2023 and what are you hoping to see at next year's show? Let us know in the comments below or reach out to us on Twitter or LinkedIn. And of course, don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel. Now, if you're yearning for more CES content, then head over to autovista24.com. It features articles covering the top automotive trends of this year's show. And while you're there, subscribe to our daily email for all our latest analysis. There's also the Autovista24 podcast on Apple, Spotify, Google, and Amazon Music. Go ahead and have a listen. Thank you very much for watching. We'll catch you next time.